What's going on everybody? So today I'm back here with my 2012 Mustang GT. I'm going to tell you five things that I love about this car. So this video is going to kind of be a mix of specific things about this car as well as things that I like overall because it's a Mustang. So starting off, number one, I love the color of this car. Race red is one of my favorite colors ever. I think it looks really good. Uh, it has just like, I don't know how to explain it. It looks really good in person. It's super glossy. There's not any flake in it or anything. Uh, which a lot of people don't like about it and that's why a lot of people prefer ruby red over race red but i just really like that it kind of pops you know it's it's a similar color to like gotta have it green as well as grabber blue it's just kind of that super bright striking super solid color and i love the red on this car a lot of people say that red is a cop magnet i've never had any issues with cops with this car even with my exhaust setup uh, which we'll get into a little bit later in the video. But yeah, I love the color of the car, so we'll go ahead and move on to the thing I love next. So for the next one, we actually have to come in here. Ooh, it's dirty in here. We have to come in here and pop the hood. So, we'll see if I can do this with one hand. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for how dirty it is in here, but the next thing I love about my specific car is the Cobra Jet setup. So, this setup uh, came from me having a blown motor. I had to put a new motor in and uh, ended up getting all this full bolt on stuff with it and here it is so things i love about the setup one i just love how it looks it's super aggressive looking whenever you pop the hood a lot of people see this car and uh you know it, it doesn't look crazy or anything it looks pretty much stock but a lot of people see this car and they don't expect this when i pop the hood so i really love it i do have plans if i keep the car to go ahead and paint that race red as well as the intake tube and then polish the throttle body because you can tell it needs a little bit of a polish there but yeah, what I have right here is the uh, Cobra Jet intake manifold. I have the Ford Racing Monoblade Super Cobra Jet throttle body, and then I have the JLT cold air intake on here for that throttle body for the Cobra Jet setup. So uh, it's a super aggressive setup. Uh, the main thing I really like about it is when driving, it's uh, it just keeps pulling. It has a lot of top into it. It lets the motor rev out, it lets it breathe, and I really like that about it. It's a lot of fun and it makes the pulls in the car a lot more exhilarating because it just seems to keep going and never stop. Number three on my list is the exhaust on this car. I love the exhaust. It's a little bit obnoxious, but I do like the tone of it and the sound of it. I actually heard it for the first time outside of the car over the weekend, and it sounds insane. So we'll start right here in the engine bay again. Yeah, so there's the JBA headers. Uh, those lead back to, we'll go down here, uh, we have Let's see if I can get it to focus for you guys. I don't know how well you can see that, but I have a resonator delete. Uh, there are no cats on this setup. And then we come back to the Corsa Extreme axle backs, which I do need to get polished. Um, this setup seems to run a little rich. Uh, so, you know, I have a lot of pops and crackles and bangs and a few flames here and there. And it's kind of got to the point where it's kind of rich and it's so hot that it's burning the tips actually and kind of charring them a little bit so uh, I'm not exactly sure how that technically works with you know all that kind of stuff and how the tips get to that color there's no oil burning I promise I'm diligent about checking my oil ever since the first motor issue that I had and uh, it doesn't burn a drop now so yeah that is the other thing that I like about the car is the exhaust I'll go ahead and throw in some exhaust clips here and also if you haven't checked out my exhaust video on this Sorry, my SD card was full. I had to delete something. So, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to go ahead and link it up in one of these corners. I can never remember which one it is with a card. Go ahead and check that video out so you can really get a taste of the full range of the exhaust. There were some people outside last time I checked, so I don't know if I'm going to go crazy with the revving, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a startup and a few revs. The engine is warm. I just drove here, so don't worry about that. But yeah, number three is the exhaust on this car. That's my next thing that I love about this car. Outside, so we should be good but I might be kicked out of this location soon I might have to move so if the video setting changes that's why all right so I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys some in-car uh, exhaust sound so we're gonna go ahead 
take this on to the main road and get you some exhaust clips. I'm gonna try to give you guys a good pop under a bridge. That's gonna do it for the exhaust sounds. Uh, I don't wanna get in trouble, so uh, hopefully you guys like the exhaust as much as I do, and we'll go ahead and move back on. Next up on the list is actually the interior of the car. So, for those of you that don't know, I actually had a base model before this car, a base model 2011 V6. That was uh, two cars ago, actually. But yeah, I love the interior of this car. I've always wanted a premium. Uh, I finally have one. So, I'll go ahead and start it up, show you guys why I like it so much. So to start off, the Shaker 500 sound system, it's pretty good, all things considered. It's a pretty small cabin in here, so it's easy to fill up with the sound. Uh, I love the premium gauge cluster. Little trick for you guys, if you ever want your lights to come on and they're not, just cover this up right here. Your My Color should come on. There you go. So, I love having the My Color gauges, that's super cool. I love my end gauge right here. If we can get the glare to go away, there we go. So uh, this has all kinds of menus for those of you that don't know, and you can swipe through a bunch of stuff, look at a bunch of different parameters of the engine and kind of check on things, see how it's going. You can data log, you can do all that fun stuff, load different tunes, so uh, yeah. I mean, I love the interior of this car. The only complaint I have is the shift knob thing, boot needs to be repainted on the interior. It's just the basic setup right here. The only option this car has are the heated seats, which go right here. I don't think there's any buttons that go here as far as options go. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, I love the interior. Uh, I love this little mount that I have for my phone. It was $15 at Walmart. It just has a little uh, magnetic thing on the back and put it right there and it sticks on just fine. So overall, for a place that I spend a lot of time, it's a really nice place to be. Uh, it has a lot of like amenities that my base model Mustang didn't have. So it's got like the auto dimming rear mirrors. It's got the my color gauges like I showed you guys, premium sound system, dual power seats, uh, a lot of things like that. And then it also has the backup sensors, which I don't know if I'm close enough to anything that you can hear them. Yeah. So that comes in handy quite a bit. But yeah, the interior is the fourth thing on my list of things I love about the car. So last but not least, the fifth thing on my list is kind of something that falls under every single Mustang, and that is the ease to modify these things. So obviously this car, well, maybe not obviously to some of you that don't know a lot about Mustangs, but this car is not stock. Uh, the splitter's different, the grill's different. Uh, headlight bulbs are different. I painted the brake calipers, painted the wheels. Uh, let's see, what else can I think of? It's got the axle back exhaust on there, LED license plate lights. It's got a 2014 deck lid that I put on there. Basically, all you have to do is shave the tabs off of those and put some 3M on. Sticks on just fine. Uh, I have LED reverse bulbs, and man, there's I'm sure there's gotta be stuff I'm forgetting too. But, you know, all that stuff was super easy to do. Most of it, you know, had I not been distracted, uh, <laughs> would have been a lot faster, but I guess, I mean, probably half those mods at least, maybe 75% of them, are things that you can do in 20 minutes. So, uh, these American muscle cars of this era, so like the, you know, 2010 to 2014 era, they're super easy to work on. The S550 Mustangs are as well. So just the ease of modding for these type of cars is something that I really enjoy and something I love about my car specifically. So, uh, yeah, without uh, dragging on too much more, that's a list of things that I love about this car. Five things, there's a lot more that I love. And uh, if you guys like this video, I'll probably make a video of five or ten things I hate about the car. Uh, because, you know, I do love it, but every car has its flaws, and this one is no exception. And there's a lot of little things on it that I could touch up that would make me a little bit happier with it. So, uh, yeah, but overall, I really love the car, and I'm super happy with where it sits right now. Uh, and, you know, I really, at my age, I, I should be really grateful for what I have and it's just been a good car for me. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.